Good morning, St. Pius Faithful, Father Russ here, going to celebrate Mass, Tuesday of the 11th week of Ordinary Time. And so we gather in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and the Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, as we gather to celebrate these sacred mysteries, we're mindful of our sins. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to gather all people into your Father's kingdom. Christ, have mercy. And you feed us with your body and your blood. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. <clears throat> Father, help us to seek the values that will bring us lasting joy in this changing world. In our desire for what you promise, make us one in mind and heart. Grant this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. After the death of Naboth, the Lord said to Elijah the Tishbite, Start down to meet Ahab, king of Israel, who rules in Samaria. He will be in the vineyard of Naboth, of which he has come to take possession. This is what you shall tell him. The Lord says, After murdering, do you also take possession? For this the Lord says, in the place where the dogs licked up the blood of Naboth, the dogs shall lick up your blood too. Ahab said to Elijah, Have you found me out, my enemy? Yes, he answered, because you have given yourself up to doing evil in the Lord's sight. I am bringing evil upon you. I will destroy you and will cut off every male in Ahab's line, whether slave or freeman in Israel. I will make your house like that of Jeroboam, son of Nabot, and like that of Baash, Basha, son of Ahijah, because of how you have provoked me by leading Israel into sin. When one of Ahab's line dies in the city, dogs will devour him. When one of them dies in the field, the birds of the sky will devour him. Indeed, no one gave himself up to up to the doing of evil in the sight of the Lord, as did Ahab, urged on by his wife, Jezebel. He became completely abominable by following idols, just as the Amorites had done, whom the Lord drove out before the children of Israel. When Ahab heard these words, he tore his garments and put on sackcloth over his bare flesh. He fasted, slept in sackcloth, and went about subdued. And then the Lord said to Elijah the Tishbite, Have you seen that Ahab has humbled himself before me? Since he has humbled himself before me, I will not bring the evil in his time. I will bring the evil upon his house during the reign of his son. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm is, Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and of my sin cleanse me. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. For I acknowledge my offense, and my sin is before me always. Against you only have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Turn away your face from my sins, and blot out all my guilt. Free me from blood guilt, O God, my saving God, that my tongue shall revel in your justice. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Alleluia, alleluia. I give you a new commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. Alleluia, alleluia. And the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. 
Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said, You shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies. Pray for those who persecute you, that you may be children of your heavenly Father. For he makes his sun rise on the bad and the good, and causes rain to fall on the just and the unjust. For if you love those who love you, what recompense will you have? Do not the tax collectors do the same? And if you greet your brothers only, what is unusual about that? Do not the pagans do the same? So be perfect, just as your heavenly Father is perfect. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Be perfect as your heavenly Father is perfect. Perhaps maybe sometimes, you know, we can get that phrase from Jesus. Be perfect as your heavenly Father is perfect. Kind of confused. Um, and, and, and replacing, you know, the perfection of, of, of you know, love. That's what it means. We, we have to love the way God loves us. In order to do that, though, we have to see the world and others the way God sees the world and others. That's, that's the kicker. That's the ticket right there. And that's, that's a challenge because um, not everybody is going to like us. Uh, we're going to have trouble with others as well. Um, we know that in the world, it's easy, like I say, it's easy to look across the ocean and to kind of be critical and opine about, you know, warring nations and so on and so forth. But we've got to really bring it home and look at our own hearts, our own relationships, and how are we doing in loving, you know, those who we find cantankerous? How are we loving those who, you know, really we have a difficult time with? Because they too are created in God's image and likeness. And I think that's the first step, to look at everyone the way God looks at everyone, created in his image and likeness. Um, if, you, if you can imagine the way God would look at a sinner, us, you know, and how, you know, he doesn't discard us, but he wants us back, you know, to welcome us back. Our God is, is, is a God of reconciliation who wants to bring us back. And so the challenge for us to be perfect as your heavenly Father is perfect, to be perfect in love, uh, to love those, everyone, without exception, the way God loves others, to see the world the way God sees the world, to see others the way God sees others, and to continue pouring out God's love, to experience it and to pour it out on our brothers and sisters. God bless you. And in faith and confidence, now we present our prayers. We're confident that God grant us what we all need. And we pray for all the leaders of the church that they may preach the message of forgiveness and reconciliation with boldness and faith. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the leaders of all the nations, that they foster justice and peace through their work with one another, that they may... Uh, close that divide, the racial divide, and that peoples may open their hearts to true peace and justice. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Uh, for those who are vulnerable, well, that they will always be safeguarded by who, all those who profess their faith in Christ. Especially, we pray for, for the care caregivers of the vulnerable, that they may continue to be given the courage uh, to care for their loved ones. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And during this time of the virus, we pray for all doctors and nurses on the front lines with the virus. Pray for all uh, scientists, those who are working on, on vaccines and a cure. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for those who have died, especially our loved ones who have gone before us, marked with the sign of faith. Especially you want to remember uh, Mildred Connolly, that Kevin, Father Kevin Connolly's mother, uh, who passed away, and, and for the repose of her soul, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, we make these prayers through Jesus, your Son. He lives and reigns with you, one God, forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer. 
which earth has given and human hands have made, this will become for us our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. This will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to be pleased with sacrifice. God, wash away all my iniquity. Let fail all my sins. Amen. Pray with me, friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty and loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and the glory of God's name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Merciful God, the perfect sacrifice of Jesus Christ made us your people. In your love, grant peace and unity to your church. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord. With love we celebrate his death. With living faith we proclaim his resurrection. With unwavering hope we await his return in glory. Now with the saints and all the angels we praise you forever. Holy, holy, holy Lord and God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> Lord, you are holy indeed. You are the fount of all holiness. Let your spirit come down upon these gifts to make them holy, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Before he was given up to death, a death that he freely accepted, he took bread and he gave you thanks. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, and he said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body. It will be given up for you. <clears throat> when the supper was ended, he took the cup, and again he gave you thanks and praise. He gave the cup to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. Lord, by your cross and your resurrection, you have set us free. You are the savior of the world. In memory of his death and his resurrection, we offer you, Father, this life-giving bread and this saving cup. We thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and to serve you. And may all of us who share in the body and the blood of Christ be brought together in unity by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church throughout the world. Make us grow in love together with Francis, our Pope, John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have gone to their rest in the hope of rising again. Bring them and all the departed into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all and make us worthy to share eternal life with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles, and with all the saints who have done your will throughout the ages. May we praise you in union with them and give you glory through your Son, Jesus Christ. For it is through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so we have the courage to pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, and for the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, and my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and the unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. And the peace of the Lord be with all of you. Peace of Christ, everyone. God bless you. <clears throat> in our act of spiritual communion together, Jesus, we believe you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. We love you above all things and desire you in our souls. Since we cannot receive you now sacramentally, come at least spiritually into our hearts. As though you were already there, we embrace you and unite ourselves to you. Permit not that we should ever be separated from you. Amen. We behold the Lord Jesus, the Lamb of God. We behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of a lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. <clears throat> Lord, may this Eucharist increase within us the healing power of your love. May it guide and direct our efforts to please you in all things. Grant this to Christ our Lord. And the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. This Mass has ended. Let us go in peace to love and to serve our Lord. Thanks be to God. God bless everyone. Stay safe and stay well.